isn't going to fucking hell. Where is he? <laughs> fucking hell. He's up on the hill. He's up on the hill. To the right. To the right. He's right where you are. Right where you are. Should have seen him. What the fuck? What was with that scope, man? The scope was literally on the floor. I don't know, man. I don't know. The scope might be a bit buggy. Or it might be because I was just running for a long time, but my scope was literally on the floor. If I had a normal weapon now, I would have probably killed him easily. If you're wondering what a sniper scope should look like when you're actually aiming down and shooting someone, here's a little clip of me killing someone earlier. Let's try to go around the side. That was an enemy, that wasn't the same guy. Why does this good not one shot? I do not know. Right, so I'm just going to quickly check for store to see if it's any different. From what I've heard, it is exactly the same, but let's see. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Everything's all there. Spawn beacon, camera net. All normal stuff. So, I mean, that's not too bad of a thing. The kind of transition, you know, implementing I-44 to work for Wasteland has just happened recently. You know, we have to change all objectives and the spawns and all that kind of stuff. So, it's not that bad of a thing. Hopefully, in the future, we should see some custom stuff from that. And probably a custom map, because to be honest, like I said, Shinaris isn't a good map for I-44. But, like I said, that will all come in good time. If people do like the mod, then, you know, hopefully you'll put some more manpower into it. And these are different binoculars. That's weird. I want to see what these different binoculars do quickly. So these ones are type E, E field glass. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is different about those, but they're totally different, man. But I mean, you can see if I had this weapon, this is probably a one-shot weapon as well. And I just went, boom, like that. But instead, my scope is on the floor and like there's no reason for your scope to be on the floor. Unless, one second, I can show you guys the menu's different in I-44 as well. But of course, that's not a feature of Wasteland. But yeah, my aim is at zone zero, so I don't know why it's doing that. It's kind of weird. I guess it's just a... Uh it might be a movement mod or something. Maybe. Not really sure. I'm just going to get in the car. Go get a new weapon and continue our adventure. We need to do a bloody objective. So, hopefully we'll do one of those. Right. So, I don't know what the hell this car is. But it looks pretty cool. And I've got a thousand bullets in this. And let's see. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. It's a very nice gun. So, we'll go ahead and use whatever the hell this is. I think it's called a half track. Because it's only half tracks, you can see. I've got one behind as well. It's half wheel, half tracks. So, it's called a half track. It makes sense. I gotta shoot now, but go for it. Woo, we blew up a car with 200 bullets. That's good. So, wh where are we going, man? There's a plane? Oh shit, there's a plane. There's a plane in the skies, but I can't get it. Someone else shooting from that direction. There's someone shooting um south southeast ish. Someone shooting southeast with the same gun as us, I think it is. Or the same weapon. I think I might have lost the wheels. I'm gonna try to go flank this. Yeah, we just got killed. It's an independent. It might be on its own. Oh, I don't know what the hell our plane is. It seems rather quiet though. And rather strong. We've got two people with MGs shooting at it. Well, from the car. Doesn't seem to be doing too much though. I'm gonna go try flank these guys, like I said. I think I'm pretty close. We're just over this hill, I believe. See the guy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Some MLG aiming. Wow, that was pretty awkward, but I got him, I guess. So this guy had a spring fuel as well. You can get a B in there. I don't know how to use that still. Um. But the spring fuel seems to suck really, really hard. Uh, I really hope for some better... I don't know what the hell I'm healing right now. Am I healing an enemy or something? I don't see an enemy. Uh, but yeah, I really hope for some better snipers, but I haven't found one yet. And I don't know what the hell my friends are shooting at still. Oh, I was trying to shoot down the, uh, the plane still. So you can't hear it. It's just really, really quiet. That's interesting. Um, what is this plane doing? It's literally doing circles over our head. I've got MG shooting. Oh, 
Can't see shit, Captain. I think we did some damage, though. Maybe. Smoke to the left, Ouija. Um, so I don't know what happened here, but... Car crashed. Is that a car behind us? There's a car behind us. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, North I can east. hear it. Yeah, something crashed here. I don't think that's a plane we were a few minutes ago, because it looks different and a lot bigger. But it's interesting to see at least someone's got a cool looking plane. Looks like it's got lots of passenger seats as well. Rip in peace. Right, so anyway, I'm going to stop here for the Wasteland i44 mod. I am going to be waiting until tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow the server should be a lot more popular, because the mod came out, like, I don't know, maybe two hours ago, so people don't really know about it. Hopefully, since I've made this video, people should see it and download it. Holy fuck, Ouija. Thanks for making me shit myself. That was loud as well. Um, But yeah, all you need to do to get on a server is download i44 from Google and put it in your, you know, your Armour 2 directory. Launch it and boom, get on the server. Simples. This is the BMRF server, also known as Billy May's Remembrance Foundation. So go check out the server. I think it's 75 slots and right now there's about 30, 40 people on. And since everyone's just getting used to the mod, um, I doubt anyone's really doing any serious base building. So I'll be back tomorrow or in a few seconds for you guys to check out how the base is on this. I'm not really sure how it's going to be with bases, but I guess we'll find out very soon. Right, so I'm back on the server again, and I'm now joined with Chaos, because I thought, you know, making a little squad is a good introduction to I-44 Wasteland. So it's just me and him inside an independent squad, since he can, of course, make those. So right now, I don't know where any base is, but that's okay. There's about 60 people or so on the server as a whole, so the mod's got a shit ton more popular over the two days, which I haven't played it on. Uh, I don't really think anything else significant has changed. I do know the gun stores actually exist now, which is pretty cool. You can buy, like, some of the snipers from there. I do know there's some better snipers than the one I had last part, which... Didn't really do a job, in my opinion. Uh, general stores, I'm not really sure about those whatsoever. But right now, uh, we do have a card front. I've got a Thompson. Chaos has got that shitty silence gun. But I don't know the name of What's it called again? Uh, Delisel Combine. Delisel, okay. That sounds really cool. So me and Chaos are going to get in... Um, oh, no, I fucked my car, didn't I? Is this your car to the left? Yeah. Yeah, so that's your car. So I, I fucked my car by running it into a wall because I thought this was armor and you can just drive over shit, but apparently you can't. So Chaos's car is out of fuel. My car's broke. Can you hear like a car as well constantly? Yes, I don't know why. It's weird. Oh, Some... car, 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 behind us, behind us, truck, truck, truck. Tango down. Tango down. I actually saw someone else. You bullshit. What did you just say? Did you hear that? Look at me, I can camp around the corner. I'm we cool. weren't camping, shut the fuck up. You were camping. No, we weren't camping. Shut up. Fucking hell, this guy, right? So I've got an M41 carbine dirty gun, this is. Um, I love M4. Oh, no, it's not an M41, it's an M1A1. Sorry, I didn't realize I was in uh, World War II. So I guess we'll take this guy's car. It's like a year old, but World War II. It's called a two and a half ton truck. And where are we actually going to go? What's the plan? Ah. Uh. Find bitches. What? Kill them. Find bitches, kill them. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. how is this to find a way? Oh, yeah, I found like demolition charges and mines. So maybe we could set up like a barricade with a mine. Maybe, maybe. But the f yeah. we don't know anything about it. So I don't know how people play with it. So we're not sure. Like, if people even make bases, there might not be any bases. Maybe people just don't like to make bases now. But I guess we'll find out about very soon. Alright, do you want to go like north, like Starry Way? Um. I think you should go maybe to Shona first. I think if we drive to Shona, you'll probably see someone on the way there, or I don't know. Just go wherever you think I might see someone, or might see a, see a base. I've seen a mine door, right? Lucky thing you dodged it. Yep. Yeah, you need to watch out for these mines. For some reason, everyone seems to have one, so. Yeah. If anyone's wondering, the snipers from the gun store all cost $600, so. We actually, somehow forgot to take the guy's money who we just killed, but if we get five kills and get all the money, and, or maybe four kills and Chaos drops me his 100, we can get a car. No, a K98, not a car 98. I don't know what the hell a car is, but I'm pretty sure it's a gun as well. And that gun's pretty sick from what I've heard, so that's our goal right now. On top of, of course, finding enemies and finding bases and stuff. Just send the Shona right now, and then we'll probably go up north and hopefully find a base somewhere. I'm not really sure where the hell anyone's going to make a base in this, but maybe one day we'll find one. Uh, MG34. I think that's a good weapon. That's a good Pretty weapon. Dirty. Is it a good weapon? It's loud. It's loud. Okay, I'm gonna shoot one yeah. bullet. Prepare yourself. It's pretty loud. But it's got like really good zeroing as well. It's got 1000 zeroing, so I'll take this. Yeah, man. 
It's like really slow when you move it. I think this is part of 1944. Something I worried about last part when my sniper scope was on the floor. I think it's just how it is in 1944. I mean, it is a heavy gun, so I shouldn't be able to just go like, boom, boom. I have to actually let it uh, line up. I-44 vehicles don't like bridges. Oh, they don't like bridges? So what would happen yeah. if you crossed that bridge? Well, look at- they get stuck. They get yeah, stuck? The, yeah, there's a few vehicles there. Yeah. They get stuck. Oh. They get stuck. I was, I was wondering, because when I was playing a few minutes ago, there was loads of under, uh, upside down cars on it, so I guess that explains that. This guy's got a Bren Mark 1. What the fuck is that? One second. Oh, this gun. British. British machine gun. It looks pretty cool if you want it. I guess it's pretty good. Uh, let's take I, like a my, one. I like my rifles. I just want to find the M1 Grand. Yeah, that was a pretty sweet. Someone told me as well, if I can actually press tab to put BNS and stuff on your guns. I don't know how to do it, Chaos know how to do it, but that's what many people told me, so... Can you press tab or anything? I'm not sure. I'm guessing you need a certain gun, but I can't do anything with tab with this gun, so... Ah, I'm pressing tab, nothing's happening. And then I tried right clicking on the bayonet. So what's this guy gun? Oh, it doesn't have anything. What if we had the end or something for a second? Oh, capture output, let's see, is that close? Yeah, that's pretty close. Cool. you want to go capture outpost? Because uh, they've always got um, ammo cache inside them. So, at least we're doing uh, normal yeah. sand. Okay. That's, we'll... that's close, but we'll go, we'll go quickly. It Nothing. is close. I just go, go, go. Trucks in this sounds so awesome. What do you mean awesome? Like, Does it sound way too loud to me? I can't hear shit. Like, like, the gear changing, it like, sounds oh, yeah. really realistic. Yeah. It's pretty, awesome. it's pretty your hand doesn't move when you change your gear, but yeah. I kind of ruins the immersion a bit. And how you don't uh, turn the wheel. That's pretty normal though. I guess in World War II. Got windscreen glass as well, so that should help a bit. Can, can you think these, uh, this MG can PS cars and shit, or... I don't know how strong weapons were back then. With um, I-44, you can get different ammunition. You can get what's called mix, which has a mix of, like, tracer, um, normal and armor-piercing bullets. Or you can get straight tracer rounds, or you can get straight, um... Armor piercing, or you can get all. My, mine's mixed, but I've got so. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's a mix of armor piercing, tracer, and ball. Okay, why so, do I need tracers? Yeah. Tracers are bad. Um, it helps you judge where you're shooting. Like obviously, a lot of weaponry didn't have like good optics, so you couldn't yeah. see very far. The so tracers help you put you on your target. Okay. Especially for guns like that that can range up to a thousand meters. Like. Yeah. Okay. Okay then, we're having a bit of a World War II lesson. It's definitely helping. I wish I could zoom in while well in one of these cars. Can you press plus and then unpad? Oh shit! Oh, and if you double tap it, it stays toggled. Zoom in as well. It doesn't do anything if I double tap it. Maybe for other things it does. Like if you're on the ground, yeah, you I know. double tap it. Yeah, and I can zoom out and shit. I did not know that. Oh, there's some money. On our left. Okay. Yeah, we can pick up some money. Wait, what, what to our left? Shooting on our left. Was it? Okay. Wait, Wait car, in car, car, car! In the car, in the car! Holy shit, he's right there. Right next to the school. I got him. Jesus Christ, these guns are fucking weird. He's dead, he's dead. Unless there's another one. I think he was on his own. Alright, I'll go get this guy's money. You go get the guy's money who were killed before, okay? Roger that. Let me get all that money. I hear a car again. East. I'm tempted to put a mine down in this guy's body. Oh my god. Well, in five minutes time when you see Chaos killed someone, you can know he did something at least. I just don't like doing things without seeing the impact. Oh, I possibly been captured but may as well raid it anyway. If we've got this, this gun I should be able to kill anyone pretty easily and maybe get an ammo cache out of it. Yeah, can you hear that? Like. Yeah, yeah, it's like a static noise in the, in the distance. It's weird. Shit. Let's go anyway. I think it's just that in this... Any... Sorry? Do I have anything decent? Do I think you've got anything decent? What? Um, uh, the guy you just killed, did he have anything decent? Oh, I didn't even check his gear, but I'm pretty sure he didn't. Otherwise he wouldn't have just went, Hoo! when he like seen us drive past. So, but Yeah, the good thing about this as well on I-44 is that like, guns have actually got recoil. Like, you might know it's an armor, like all the guns got no recoil, which is just ridiculous. But obviously with the MG had a shot. I couldn't aim for shit because I'm not used to it, so I like that, that guns actually have recall. Even the pistols have got a lot of recall. That's pretty awesome. It's a lot more balanced as well, I think, because, um, like, as I said before, no, none of the guns have optics. Yeah. I mean, like, the, uh, like, the certain rifles do, and even then the optics are very limited. So, like, it's like raw gameplay, you know, it's not skillless. You know, 
you actually have to lead your shots and judge a lot more. Be accurate. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. You can't just spray, you know, with a fucking Mark 48 or whatever. 